भगवान श्रीमद भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी प्रभुपात महाराज इन इज व्यास टू दर सेट दिस व्यास टू दिलिब्रेटेड एज दूजा of the gauriya vaisnava acharyas it is not the puja of only vyasadev or puja of krishna or only puja of gaura sundar sri chaitanya mahaprabhu or not only puja of gurudev real best puja is the puja of pure gauriya vaisnava acharyas In our, this is known as Bhakti Vinod Dhara. In this Dhara, we find one mantra. That mantra is Sri Damodar Swarup, Ru Sri Ru Pasri Sanatan, Sri Raghunath Sri Jeeva Bhatta Juga, Sri Krishna Das Kaviraj, Sri Mad Bhakti Vinod, Sri Mad Gaura Kishor, Das Sri Mad Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhu Bhat. श्रीमद भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी प्रभुपाद महाराज प्रदान सर्वेभ्यो गुरुभ्यो नम इन दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी आई ओ फे माई बेस एंसेस टू ऑल दी वैष्णवस गौरीय वैष्णवस डिवॉट इज डर फोर अलसेंट सॉन्ग फे बेस एंसेस that gauriya devotees vaisnavas written by devaki nandan das i think you we'll all you we'll all follow me brindavano vasi jato vaisnu vero gono brindavano vasi jato vaisnu vero प्रथम वंदना करी सवार चरण प्रथम वंदना करी जतो महाप्रभु गण नीलाचलोमित पड़िया बंद सवार चरण भूमित पड़िया बंद नवोदीपवासी जत महाप्रभु भक्त नवोदीपार चरण बंधु हया अनुरोक्त सवार चरण बंधु महाप्रभु भक्त जत गौड़ देश स्थिति महाप्रभु भक्त सवार चरण बंधु करिया प्रणति सवार चरण बंधु जे देश जे देशे वैसे गौरांगे रो गुण जे देश जे देशे वैसे ऊर्धो बाहु करी बंधु सवार चोरण ऊर्धो बाहु करी स्वयं छे न हो न प्रभु रो जतो दास स्वयं छे न हो न प्रभु सवार चरण बंधु दंते करी घा सवार चरण बंधु ब्रह्मांड तारी ते शक्ति धरे जोनी जोनी ब्रह्मांड तारी ते ये वेद पुराणी गुण गाय जे वासु ने वेद पुराणी गुण महाप्रभु गण सब पति तो पावन महाप्रभु गण ताई लोभे मुई पापी लोन शरण ताई लोभे मुई पापी लोन वंदना करी ते मुई कत शक्ति धरी वंदना करी ते मुई तम बुद्धि दोषे मुई दम्भ मात्र करी तम बुद्धि दोषे मुई तथापि तो मुके रो भाग्य मुनि रो उल्लास तथापि तो मुके रो भाग्य 
দোষ ক্ষমি মধমি করো নিজ দোষ ক্ষমি সর্ববাঞ্ছা সিদ্ধ হয় জম বন্ধ ছুটে সর্ববাঞ্ছা জগতে দুর্লভ হইয়া প্রেম ভক্তি লুটে জগতে দুর্লভ হইয়া মনের বাসনা পূর্ণ অচিরাতে হয় মনের বাস দেব কি নন্দন দাস এই লোভে কই দেব কি নন্দন দাস দেব কি নন্দন দাস এই লোভে কই দেব ফার্স্ট ওই I pay obeisances to all the devotees, devotees, dear devotees of Sri Man Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Vrindavan Vasi Jatva Vaishnava Ravana, those Vaishnavas reside in Vrindavan, I pay my obeisances unto their lotus feet, those Vaishnavas, dear devotees of Sri Man Mahaprabhu reside in Shri Nilachala Dham, Jagannath Puri Dham, I pay my obeisances, falling flat on the ground at their lotus feet. Those who are dear devotees of Shri Man Mahaprabhu reside in Navadip Dham, I pay my obeisances at their lotus feet. Those dear devotees of Mahaprabhu reside in Gaudadesh, I pay my obeisances at the lotus feet of all of them. The dear devotees of Gauranga Mahaprabhu part any kahana, any place of the world, wherever they reside, I pay my obeisances unto their lotus feet. Those who will become Mahaprabhu devotees, dear devotees in the future also, I pay my obeisance unto their lotus feet also. Catching straw at my teeth, I pay my obeisances at their lotus feet. In all Vedas and Puranas, it is said that all the dear devotees of Prisman Mahaprabhu are deliverer of the Patitas, most degraded. So I have developed this greed to take shelter of those dear devotees of Sriman Mahaprabhu because I am so degraded, so fallen, lowest of the low, their mercy I beg, otherwise I cannot be delivered. Sometimes this Mahaprabhu's teaching also, Tanadapi Suni Jena, one should be very humble and sober, most humble and most sober, more humble, or humbler than a blade of grass on the street. Otherwise, one cannot do Hari Bhajan. So, sometimes, this material world is such a dreadful, dangerous world. Sometimes, some pride comes. One thinks that I am a Vaishnava. Muise Vaishnava e buddhi hoile, amani nahabo ami, pratishthasa si hudaya dusiva, hoivo nirogami. Bhakti vina thakur mahajan has said this thing. If this thought comes, I am a Vaishnava. Then, this most dangerous, the moment this thought comes, the moment this thought enters into the mind that I am a voice now, it's the most dangerous moment, then you cannot become a Mahani. You cannot pay respect to one and all, you demand respect thereby. You will run after to seek name, fame, and prestige. 
Amani na hava ami pratishtha sa si hudayo dusi bohi bo nirogam. Then he wrote, heart will be polluted. If you keep this thought in your heart, in your mind, you go to hell. So Mahaprabhu has taught us this thing. Trunad vishuni chena tarori va sahisruna amani na manade na kirtaniya sada hari. Be amlat than a blade of grass in the street. Be tolerant as a tree. Don't demand respect. Rather pay respect to one and all. Then you can do Hari Bhajan. Otherwise, you cannot do Hari Bhajan. If you don't possess these qualities, it's not a fact that you will practice this thing artificially. No. It's quite natural. It should be natural. You can do it artificially. Then that will be hypocrisy. Krishna is there in your heart. Who knows what you are whispering in your heart? What thought is there in your mind? What is lurking in your heart? He knows you can cheat Krishna. You cannot act artificially. How many days? How long can you act in such a way? It's, it should be quite natural. So, Mahaprabhu therefore teaches this thing. And Srila Kabiraj Goswami, one who is one of the most dear, dear most devotee of Srila Mahaprabhu, says, make a garland of this verse and put it around your neck and do Hari Bhajan. Otherwise, you are not doing Hari Bhajan. Your Bhajan is Tumak Bhajan Keval Koito. Your Bhajan is only cheating. You are, only, you are a cheater, you are only cheating. Keval Koito. That's a fact. This material world is such a dreadful world, dangerous situation, nasty place. Srimad-bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada Maharaja said, this is not at all a fit place for any gentleman to live. Any gentleman to live. Such a place. So in such situation, dangerous situation, who is our savior? Who will save us? Who will save us? These Vaishnavas, these dear devotees of Srimad Mahaprabhu, Yes, Gauriya, Vaishnavas, Acharyas, previous Acharyas, they are our Savior. Nimachan Majatanguri Bhavabhu Paramayanam Santo Brahmavida Santu Santa Naudruda Bhavsu Majatam. Srimad Bhagavata, 11th canto, says this thing. This Bhavasagar. This material world is a very dreadful ocean of material existence, a very dreadful ocean. We have been drowning and drowning here, lots and lots of lives, lakhyo lakhyo janama. We are always in need of a strong boat. That strong boat is this. Brahma Vida Sadhus, this Gaudiya Vaishnavas, Acharyas, they are strong force. So their puja is best puja. Their puja is best puja. So this is the day you are so kind to me, and I always cherish the desire in my heart to get such mercy from you. Life after life. To get such a portion to offer my puja to such Vaishnavas, such Acharyas. I hope so. And in this 
And this day I also request you one and all, be merciful on me. I am in a very, very dangerous situation. Please help me. Please help me. Unless you help, I will be put into most dangerous situation. Those who will help me, they will be very fitted. They will get the blessings and mercy of previous Acharyas, Vaishnavas, Mahaprabhus and Krishnas. So on this day, I request you, one and all, to serve our such mercy on me. Whatever you say about me on this day, I don't deserve all these things. These are all due to for those previous acharyas and Guru Gana, all the gurus. I have no qualification, I am not at all a worthy person to receive it. So as a servant and servant and servant of those gurus, I accept this and offer all this to them. Bhavata mahata samarpitam nahi dhartu prabhavami vai bhavam uchitam guru vehaṁ adhyatam subharāk pranayāta samarpaye. One should understand very well this material world, dukhālayam, sāsvatam, illusory world, filled with unlimited miseries, temporary world, pade pade vipadaṁ, if step there is danger, but those who are fortunate enough and have accepted the lotus feet of a Mahant Guru, a dear devotee of Sriman Mahaprabhu, are protected. They teach how to serve Krishna. Anya bhyasta sunyam jnana karmadi anabrutam anukulena krishna nisilanam bhakti ruttama. Srila Rupa Goswami says, what is uttama bhakti, what is real bhakti, this type of bhakti, pure bhakti. Anya bhyasta sunyam jnana karmadi anabrutam anukulena krishna nisilanam. Most important, significant word. Anukulena Krishna Anasilana. To serve Krishna favorably. In English you say like this, but this is not sufficient. This is not sufficient to understand things. To serve Krishna favorably. What is that favorably? To serve Krishna in such a way, Krishna will be pleased. Krishna will be pleased. Because his pleasure is the only requirement in our life, Krishna's pleasure. We are Jiva Swarupai Krishna Nitya Das. We are his eternal servants. Our duty is to render loving service unto Krishna. To serve Krishna with love, pure love, without expecting anything in return. That is love. Your love. Rendering service to Krishna, if you want something from him in return, that's not service. In the words, in the language, or in the words of Sri Kalhad Maharaj Mahajan, Savaivani Nasa Bhutya, he is a merchant who does business with Krishna. He is not a servant. Rendering service unto Krishna, we expect something from him. No. Expect nothing. But this material world is such dreadful, 
such dangerous work. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, make us, doesn't put us in such a situation that by rendering service to Krishna we won't expect anything. No. Unconsciously. Consciously or unconsciously. Mostly all expect something. But those who have come to this path, this life, this path, Mahaprabhu's path, Bhakti Patho, path of devotion, they are hearing this thing. They say this thing, Nadhanam Nadhanam Nasundarim Kavitamba Jagadisa Kamai Mama Janmani Janmani Sure Bhavatat Bhakti Rahe Tukidoi. They say so. It's mere sharing only. Oh Lord, I don't want anything from you. No dhanam, no material wealth, no dhanam, no material follower, no sundaring kavitamba, jagadisa kamaye. I don't want a beautiful woman to enjoy. Even I don't want liberation. Janmani, janmani, sure, bhavata, bhakti, rahi, tukitvai. Life after life, I will only serve you and give a pleasure. They say so. It's only lip saying, only lip saying. How many are there, really, from the core of their heart, they practice this thing? Really they practice. They don't expect anything from Krishna, only to serve, render loving service, nothing else. Vaishnav Mahajan, Acharya sings, Marobir akhobi jecha tomar, nityo dasa prati tuya odhikar. Huh? Marobir akhobi jecha tomar, nityo dasa prati tuya odhikar. Mahajan je nagata sapantha, Mahajan je koi se satyo mani, Mahajan bhaktiya, sadhu Mahajan, they are teachers. They have come here to teach us. We are stupid fellows, rascals. Marobi rakhobi joy cha tumar, nitya da asaprati tuya odhikara. Oh Lord, I am your eternal servant. I take complete shelter at your lotus feet. You may do whatever you like. Marobi rakhobi. If you want to kill me, Kill me. If you want to protect me, protect me. Whatever you want, you do. You have full right on me. Nitya das praditva adhikara. I am your eternal servant. You have full right on me. I am yours. I don't belong to myself. I am yours. And you have full right, complete right on me. Whatever you want, whatever you like, you do. This is what. This is not mere lip saying, lip saying. This should come out from the core of the heart. And Krishna knows your heart. What you are whispering in your heart. If you are really thinking so, or saying from in the lips only, that Krishna knows. So, Srila Rupa Goswami teaches this thing. Anukullena Krishna no Srilanam Bhakti Ruttama. Serve Krishna in such a way, in such love, in such love, that he will be pleased. Mahadana's Acharyas say, what is that? How Krishna should be served? What sort of love or loving service one should render? Mahaprabhu was a teacher. 
ideal teacher says aradhe bhagavan vadeshatanaya tad dham vrindavanam ramya kaati dupasana brajapadu vargena ja kalpita this is significant brajapadu vargena ja kalpita vrajeshatanaya krishna nanda nanda na krishna jasoda nanda na krishna madhuryamaya krishna Ten, twelve year old Krishna, Kishor Krishna, he is Nanda Nanda Krishna, Gokulesa Krishna, he is not Mathuresa Krishna or Dvarukesa Krishna. This is significant. He is Gokulesa Krishna, he is Nanda Nanda Krishna, Jasodasta Nandaya, who has shot the breast of Mother Jasoda. That Krishna, that Mahaprabhu is saying. Should be served, should be worshipped. Aradhi Bhagavan Prajishatanaya Krishna. Ah, he is dear. Abode Vrindavan is also mm. to be worshipped like him. Taddham Vrindavan Uramya Kachit Pasana Brajabadhubar Gino Jagar Pita. The themselves of Brother Bhumi, the gopis, how they are offering worship, how they are rendering loving service unto Krishna, with pure love, madgata prana, madgata prana. Gopis are madgata prana, Krishna says. Gopis are mama. The gopis are so dear to me. They have developed so love towards me. I have become indebted to them. No far away. I cannot pay back that debt. So pure love. They expect nothing from Krishna. They expect nothing from Krishna. Only give him pleasure. Give him pleasure. They are prepared to go to hell. Let us go to hell and suffer there forever. If required for the pleasure of Krishna. Such is love. Pure love. This is Anukulena Krishna Anushlava. That Rupa Goswami has said. Anukulena Krishna Anushlava. This is perfect here. Deep perfect. One should understand like this. And this is not sufficient to say like that, to serve Krishna favorably. Not sufficient. But when danger is here in this material world, because this is a dangerous situation, very dangerous situation, Atharya says seven things are there, Saptaka. Guru, Gostha, Dhambasi, Vaishnav, Brahman, Namkirtan, Mantra Charan. Seven things are there. Huh? These seven things, you see, will be utilized for the pleasing service of Radha and Krishna. These seven things. Guru, one who is ideal, bona fide guru, by his own life, practically he demonstrates this. Practically he demonstrates. Ah. Mm. His servant, Sevaka Bhagavan, his Sevaka Bhagavan, his servitor Bhagavan, is very intimate, fear, associate of Krishna. Yeah. Guru, Gostha, Dhambasi, Vaishnav, Brahman, Namkirtan, Mantra Chara. And this should be utilized in a favorable, such a favorable way, in such a pleasing way, that it will only give pleasure to Radha and Krishna. But danger is here. What is the danger? Yes. 
something, somebody, someone, some devotee or Vaishnava thinks, oh, I am rendering pleasing service to Krishna. This is the danger here. Think so, then the result will be complete reverse. Complete reverse. You should understand it very well. This danger is here. And this comes un- unconsciously, this comes. You may not consciously want it, but unconsciously it comes. This is such a dangerous situation, this material sphere. Material sphere. Mm. Then the result will completely reverse. Deeper is the part. Therefore, one who thinks so uh, externally, just to show off, just to show off that he is a Vaishnava, he is a devotee, he is engaged in this service. Externally, so he becomes very proud. Dumbho, we say, Dumbho. This is demoniac quality. Dumbho, Dharpo, Himano, Parusya. In Bhagavad Gita, you'll find these are demoniac qualities. This is not quality of a devotee. So, this comes here in this material world. Such a dreadful, such a dreadful, such a nasty, nasty world. Not at all a fit place for any gentleman to live, as Srimad Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami, Prabhupada Maharaj. So I tell you this thing. I am in a dangerous situation. So I request you on this day. Please help me, please help me, please help me. I am in a very dangerous situation. Vipannami. Bada Vipannami. Tumar Sahajya Durga. That I say. If you help me, you will be benefited. You will get blessings, you will get mercy from Krishna. And I request you one and all, please, shower this mercy on me. Year after year, year after year, life after life, I am in such a dangerous situation. From this day, Das Puja day, this is my request to you one and all. Another thing that this Paravidya, Jaravidya and Paravidya, material education and spiritual education, we are after spiritual education, and the ultimate goal of this education is bhakti. In order to get that bhakti, now we have approached the lotus feet of that previous acharyas headed by Vyas to offer worship to them. This is Vyas Puja. And this Vyas Puja day. Our heart is a deserted heart, hard heart, as hard as a block of stone, never soft. So this is the Acharya's, previous Acharya's Guru, headed by Vyas, so merciful. If they would sour their mercy, the mercy that, like the incident rain, Krupahavari, the incident rain, like incident rain, their mercy is like that, Krupahavari, and this deserted heart, we have 
How can we get bhakti? Tell me, how can we get bhakti? Our heart is so deserted heart. It requires rain. It, it needs to be monsoon. By that merciful rain in season, rain, torrents of rains of mercy. That comes from those previous acharyas headed by Das. So on this day we beg their mercy. This is only required on this day. This is Vaspuda, nothing else. Sriman Mahaprabhu says, Jahare de Khile Mukhyaise Krishna Nam, Tahake Janiyo Tumi Vaishnava Pradhan. He is the topmost Vaishnava. By seeing whom automatically name of Krishna is uttered in your lips, in the topmost voice now, this automatically comes. So, on this day, in your congregation, all these things come to me. Therefore, I am able to speak all these things. So, applying that formula, I say, you are topmost voice numbers. So, I beg mercy from you. I am in such a dangerous situation. Please, our mercy on me. And keep it constantly, keep it constantly with me. And mercifully, you are so merciful that you have given me opportunity today to offer worship to such acharyas, previous acharyas headed by Das, Das Puja. And this is my service unto you. Please, therefore, I am your servant. Please keep me in, in such service to you. Constantly. Don't make me devoid of this service. This is my request to you, one and all, on this Vaspuja day. I may say that I was going to be late. Let's sort my says. Srimad Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada Maharaj says simplicity is a Vaishnavism. The simplicity is the natural quality of a Vaishnava. One who is simple by nature is a natural Vaishnava. It is better to be in the species of birds, beasts, aquatics, animals other than human beings, worms, insects, and lots of lots of species. Better to live in that spaces, but assuming human body, getting human body, don't allow this crookedness, this duplicity, kapatyo, kapurta, to enter into your heart. Most dangerous thing. So, if you allow this duplicity, crookedness, pretentiousness, Enter into you, enter into heart. You cannot serve Krishna at all. You cannot serve Krishna. You will be hypocrite. You will be hypocrite. We cannot serve Krishna at all. So on this day I beg your mercy, all your blessings. Let me not become a hypocrite. Let me not become a hypocrite. This mercy I beg unto you, you Vaishnavas, on this day. Therefore, say I, I am in a very, very dangerous situation. Very, very dangerous. Please help me. Please help me. 
So, no more. And last thing I'll say that Vaisnava Krupa Tahe Sarva Siddhi, that we are chanting the song of Devaki Nandan Das, mm, the mercy of a Vaisnava, true Vaisnava will give you all sorts of perfection. And this rare opportunity we have been given that we have got this rarely achieved human life, Dullabhang Mahana Sudhanama, the rarely achieved human life we have got. And the only thing required this mercy of these Vaishnavas, their devotees, of Krishna and Mahaprabhu Gauranga. Otherwise, we cannot make your life successful, make our life successful. Therefore, in all Shastras, repeatedly, this has been said, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Shastra Koi, Lobi Matra Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Siddha. Associate Association of sadhus, association of sadhus. Association of sadhus is the only requirement. Bhagavad Bhakti is. Trayami lavenapo, lavenapi nasur gnana punar bhavam. Bhagavad Sangi Sangasya Murtyanam Kimuta Asiso. Pratyata Zhap. This prayer, they offer this prayer unto. Lord Hari, that we are the residents of this Martya Bhumi, this earth planet, where there is birth and death. This only blessing is here, this only blessing and boon is required. Bhagavad Sangi Sangasya, only the association of Bhagavad Sangi, the dear devotees of the Lord. That is only thing required in our life and that will give us all perfection, supreme perfection in us. So on this day, I request you all, pray, all of you, please shower your blessing on me, that I will give such a social sadhus uh, always throughout my life, life after life. This is only prayer unto you. Thank you very much.